This uh, tutorial is going to show how to use a Curve Expert Professional to fit or find a curve uh, for a particular table of values that you have. And so let's start the application. And I'm just going to, this is a pretty powerful piece of software, but I'm just going to use it for a, a very basic kind of uh, question here. So. Now, first of all, we need some data, so uh, I'm gonna just going to type in the data. And it's actually easiest if you actually type in all the axes first. I'm going to do that. The, the y's aren't all zero. Just make sure I've got all the numbers I want. Yeah, that looks good. So um, now there's uh, there's three different, uh, four different windows open here. Uh, if any of those gets closed, for example, if you uh, X that out, uh, you can just go into Window here and uh, and and turn these back on. So for example, that was the results one. So that's where you know if you happen to X out any of those, that you can actually reopen them. So I'm going to uh, in order to find the equation for the, the that uh, for an equation for a model that fits this data, I'm going to go to uh, and there's a whole bunch of different uh, uh, kinds of uh, curves you can use. I'm going to focus here on polynomial ones, but you don't have to be just uh, limited to polynomial ones. And it it comes up automatically with degree four. So let's say I thought maybe this is going to be a quadratic. It's going to be a second degree relation. So I'll I'll change that to two and click on OK. And so notice that this looks like a parabolic shape here, but it doesn't really go through the data very well. Uh, it goes to that point, it's not that one, that one, not this one up here. So it doesn't really look like the, the polynomial is going to be very good. If we go up here and double click on this, uh, it'll actually give us uh, the coefficients for that particular curve. Um, I'm not going to focus on this one because you can tell that the, the quadratic isn't that great a fit. So let's just close that. So let's go back to uh, calculate, and now two didn't work, so let's try a cubic. And so notice that this cubic actually goes through every single point. So it certainly looks like a good fit, even this one right up here at the end. And so if you hover over here, you can actually see the coefficients. Uh, this is the one that uh, I have right now, so I'm going to double click on that one. And so it certainly does look like every single point has uh, traveled through by that curve. And so uh, here's, the, now it writes it uh, a little bit backwards to the way you often see in a math class, a uh, polynomial equation, because we often go like from the highest power to the lowest, it actually writes in the, in the reverse order. So the constant first, the x term first, the quadratic term next, the cubic term next, etc. And so you just have to remember that. So uh, a is negative 6. Everything here is in um, um, scientific notation. But now if all the exponents on the tens are, are zeros, then the coefficient of a is just negative 6. So y would equal negative 6. Uh, b is 5, so it would be plus 5x. c is negative 1, so minus x squared. And then d is 2, so plus, and there would be a 2x uh, cubed on the end here. So that would be the equation for that particular curve. And of course, you, you want the first one. If I did uh, degree 4, degree 5, you'd also, 6, you'd also know that they all go through, but you want the lowest one. Okay, you want the lowest one. So that's why I started at 2, went to 3, 3 works, so that's my, that's my equation right there. So that's basically how you can use it to fit, um, find a curve for a particular table of values.